Hello everybody and welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 18. In this tutorial we are going to cover how to make a sprite font file for DirectX DK and also how to render 2D text on our screen. What you will want to do is navigate to that original DirectX DK folder from where we had downloaded it and where we had created our libraries. And if you go into the main folder you'll see this make sprite font folder open it up and go into bin and release and you should have this make sprite font.exe application just to make this simpler I am going to copy this just to the root of my C drive now what we are going to want to do is open up the command prompt and I want to navigate to my C drive so I just change directory to C for this example, we are going to call make sprite font. The font we are going to generate is Comic Sans MS, and we are going to call the file we generate myfile.spritefont. And the font size we want to generate it with is 16, let's say. Uh, you know, if, if you want to change the font, you can put in anything here as long as you have it installed on your computer. So let's say instead of my file, actually, let's call this Comic Sans MS 16 because the default font size is 16. So let's press enter. And now we have this file down here called Comic Sans MS 16.sprite font. So what we are going to do is we're going to copy this file. Now let's go into our projects directory. In our projects directory, I'm going to create a new folder to store our data. And the data folder is just going to store all of our data for the program, like our fonts, our textures, our models, stuff like that. So inside of our data folder, let's create a new folder called fonts. Open that up, and we're going to put this font inside of here. So now we need to load this font inside of our program. Let's go over to our graphics header. And what we need to include is sprite batch and sprite font. We need to create a couple of objects for this. So we will be using unique pointers since they will clean themselves up after we exit the scope. And we're just going to have our sprite batch and our sprite font. Now for now let's go into the initialize directx and we can just initialize the fonts at the end of this. The constructor for the sprite batch just takes the pointer to our device context, and the structure for the sprite font takes our pointer to our device, and then it takes the path to the font uh, sprite font file. So if we want to write something, let's go up to our render frame, and we want the text to be drawn after everything else. So let's go down here and there's a few steps to this. So first we need to, let's see, I'm gonna put draw text. We need to begin our sprite batch. And then when we were done, we need to end it. And in here is where we will actually draw the text. So what we could do is, let's say we just want to write hello world at the top left. On our sprite font, we could call a draw string, and the first thing we pass in is the pointer to the sprite bash, which we can call git on a unique pointer to get this. Next is our uh, string as a wide string, so we'll put hello world. We need to pass in the position. We want this to be at the top left, and by default, uh, sprite bashes work in window coordinates. So the top left of our window would be 00, zero and the bottom right would be 800 by 600. So let's just pass in a XM float 2, 0, 0. Next is the color, and there are actually, we could use a vector for this. I'm just going to use the default white. Next is a rotation, we are not rotating it. The origin, the scale, so if you want to uh, scale this, this is where you can do it. 
but we're just going to use the default size. And the last two arguments are actually optional. So we're just going to ignore that for now. All right, so if everything went right, we should see hello world at the top left. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, for the origin, I passed in zero. I need to pass in a float two. Let's try this again. I don't know why my output window is so big. You see at the top left we get hello world and then we have our triangle here. Now you might notice uh, it looks a little bit strange and part of that's because Comic Sans MS and another part is because we need to fix something on our window rect. So that is all that we are going to cover for right now and in our next tutorial we are going to look at how to fix our windows dimensions. It'll be a really short one.